Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name is Chris Calabucas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking innovation startups, the future, not necessarily those, and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you'll be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast, podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, people are so freaked out about AI. They're so freaked out about AI taking jobs. And I mentioned this before. I talked about this last time or a couple of times ago. Is that, you know, there's some jobs that human beings shouldn't be doing anyway. Now, yesterday I talked about how People shouldn't be driving because at this point, people are so distracted and disillusioned and I don't know what they are. They're de something that they don't really know how to drive properly. And the sooner we can get autonomous vehicles, the better. But then I talked earlier about AI not being able to cook. So that gave me an idea. Basically, if you think about it, we should take every single job that's being done out there, every single task that needs to be completed, and we should take every task and look at it and classify it in two different ways. We can classify it as a task. Actually, let's classify it in three different ways. No, two. Make it nice and binary. It's a task that can be done by an AI and should be done by AI. It's an AI task. There are AI tasks and there are non-AI tasks. There's things AIs should do and there's things AIs should not do. And the things that AI should not do are things humans do. So let's classify it that way. There's a human bucket and an AI bucket, two buckets of tasks. So everything that needs to be done needs to be done in one of these two buckets. Now, you might say, well, you can do things with both. You can create your digital centaurs. And you can have people who do you know, things that the machines and the, and the people in the machines are working together to create a harmony. Yes, they're working together to create a harmony, but there's certain things that machines can do and they do them well. And there's certain things that people can do and do them well. And yes, we are talking about people and machines working together to improve the lot of humanity, right? I totally agree with that. But there's some tasks that are way better suited to machines. And there's some tasks that are way better suited, suited to humans. For example, cooking is way better suited to humans because humans can taste we have the ability to taste now at some point i'm sure there will be bots that can taste or at least approximate taste enough so that it can actually cook but right now at this point bots should not cook they should not create recipes they should stay out of the food space in that way taking orders not a problem cooking food big problem so let's put that squarely on the human side of the board. Driving, which I talked about last time, that is a, is a game of rules and regulations. Rules, there's rules of the road. Rules of the road says to me, that's perfect for AI. AI, let's take driving and put it on the AI side of the board. Let's put it on the robot side of the board. So if you look at every task that needs to be completed, every single task that needs to be done, it can either be on the AI side or the human side. And I think what's happening right now is that we have a lot of jobs that are on the human side that deserve to be on the AI side. And we have some things on the AI side that are being pushed to humans and vice versa. So I think in this, all this excitement around ChatGPT and OpenAI and all that stuff, we're trying to get AI to do human things and we're trying humans and, but for the longest time, we've had humans doing AI things. So what we need to do is have a reckoning. We need to sit down and figure out who's better suited to do this. Sure, an AI can come up with a recipe. But is it going to be any good? No. Human can drive. But are they going to be any good? Probably not. So here's my proposition. My proposition is that from now on, whenever there's a task in front of you, think about it for a second. Who would be better suited to do this? A human or a machine? A job, human or a machine? Task, human, machine. Whatever it is that needs to be done, think about it, who would be better suited to do it? Don't, don't, don't think that, oh, because this person has a job doing this thing, that he should be doing this thing. 
think about is it is this person better suited to do this thing that uh, an AI could do better or is this AI better suited to do a thing that a human could do I think once we look at it from those angles then everything changes because every uh, every task that we need to complete we have to look at it with fresh eyes as to whether or not it appear it should be in bucket A and bucket B because suddenly AI is now more capable than it's ever been is it as capable as human beings to do certain things? Absolutely not. Is it more capable than human beings to do certain things? Absolutely. So you see what I'm saying? Is that things that, that AI should do should be AIs. And even if it's part of your job, even if it's a major part of your job, you probably shouldn't be doing it anymore if it's better done by an AI. And if something's done by an AI that's better done by a human, then we should move that back into the human category. Because like it or not, we, we're going to live in a world with humans and AI. And we need to figure out who does what best and apportion jobs accordingly. Only then will we be able to say that there's fairness in the world of AI and humans. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.